Good morning stampers and crafters. Thank you for joining me. It's Maria Russell here. I'm back today to share with you a process video for this Easter banner that I just made. It's very simple. You can mass produce this. It's super easy to make. And of course, I really wanted to use this Easter Peeps dies from Cat Scrappiness and they are back in stock now. So if you haven't ordered them yet, please do so. It's very inexpensive. I used the Happy Easter script sentiment. I used the flowers here with this Gina Marie. Um, not sure what this is called but I will put a link in the description box below and for the banner here I used this lawn fawn die that I got years ago so this is the banner that I made today it's very easy as you can see and I actually secured the rope with hot glue so it doesn't shift and move around it's pretty secure there and for the bunny here I didn't have any pom-poms so I actually used my paper flower to adhere to the bunny and make it look like it's the bunny's tail. So if you guys are interested to see how I made the banner, then please keep watching. Using the lawn fawn die, I die cut five pieces of the pattern paper and five pieces of the white cardstock. And then I am going to use the biggest of the bunny peeps dies and die cut a couple of the bunny peeps with some white cardstock here and you can actually die cut three pieces out of one four and a quarter by five and a half so what I'm gonna do here now is I will just adhere the pattern paper to the white cardstock at first and then adhere the bunny peeps on the banner And now I'm going to use the Happy Easter script die also by Cat Scrappiness using my glittered cardstock here from Die Cuts with a View. And then I'm just using this negative portion of the die cut here to line up those die cuts perfectly on my banner. This is a great way to make sure that your sentiment is actually lined up perfectly on your project. And since I didn't have any white pom-poms with me, I decided to use the white paper flowers that I have from my stash. I would have preferred pom-poms, but sometimes you just have to use what you have in your stash. And then I'm going to use hot glue to adhere those paper flowers to my bunnies. And using my liquid adhesive, I am going to adhere those colorful flowers from the Gina Marie Designs dies and decorate the Happy Easter banner here. And then I'm going to get my white yarn to actually loop it through and that finishes my banner. So that is the simple project today. As you can see, it was really easy to put together. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on my next crafting video. Bye for now and have an amazing day.